Hey guys, Sparrowbro Mike here, and in today's video, we are returning to the world of My Friendly Neighborhood in part two of this demo walkthrough. Now, in the first episode, I played through the demo. I basically did a normal playthrough. I said I'd return to look at the secrets hidden within the demo, and of course, enable all the different cheats to mess around with those. So in this video, we're going to do just that. Now, before we go into this video, guys, I want to show you a little mode called the camera mode. And I was messing about with this all last night. I was working with Fusion Gamer. I don't know if you guys know him. If you don't, I will leave a link to his channel below. And basically, the two of us were finding all the secrets we could in free cam mode. And we found a whole bunch. So I'm going to share those with you today, guys. I'm going to walk you through what we found. Also a shout out to another creator, it's just Jord. He basically keyed me into the fact that we can find stuff in this free cam mode to begin with. And um, yeah, the treasure hunt began from there. So with that said guys, we're gonna be looking for all the secrets in the out of bounds mode with the camera where we can kind of float it around the level. And then afterwards we're gonna do a speed run with all the cheats enabled. Of course, if you haven't yet watched my playthrough from yesterday, I would recommend it before diving into this video as we're gonna be just sort of zipping about the level and spoiling locations and stuff. And it will just give you some context for what all of this stuff means. So with that said, sit back, relax, and let's dive into this secrets hunting video. So the first secret is in this area here, and as you can see, we've actually detached the camera. We can now float around and go out of bounds and get a good look at the entire level. So this is this area of the sewer. We can just pan around, see everything in nice detail. We can float down, we can see Ray without him attacking us in close-up detail, the janitor puppet that lives in the sewers. I think he's meant to be like a, a frog or a lizard of some kind, but he looks pretty terrifying, right? But in this area, the biggest secret is over here. Now, you'll see this little rat just perched atop this rock. If we actually pan over to this area here, there's a rock here which we can sort of clip through, and it takes us to this secret area where all of these rats are hidden away. It's like a rat kingdom. They're kind of cute, actually. The way they're sort of drawn, I quite like it. Very odd looking rats. But this is like their hideout, and they're just all sort of sat here, squeaking away. Now if we move over to the table here, when we originally come into this area, there's actually a secret tape on this table that we can collect. And the tape unlocks unlimited shotgun ammunition for the novelist gun, so we're going to be able to use that in the cheat mode later. But this is like another sort of modifier that we unlock from this room. And then if we go over here and click on this, we've actually got the developer's logo, which is the developer's like Twitter logo. He goes by the name Ducky Online, and then it's got an arrow pointing down to this symbol. Now I don't actually know what this means. This could relate to the punch card machine. I'm gonna actually mess about and see if I can make a punch card that looks like this to then feed into the um, clock machines in the main hall. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that or if this is just a little Easter egg to do with a developer's Twitter icon. Either way, that's on the wall there. And then we can actually float out of bounds again and we see all of these people under a thank you banner. So these are all people I think that either helped with the development of a game or maybe supported it as um, it was in the early stages of its development. But we'll go back through this rat room and it's time to exit and go on to our next secret. So as of recording the first part of this video guys, there's actually been an update and now instead of accessing it through free cam mode, you can actually access this secret rat area by playing the game normally. So in order to unlock it normally, what you have to do is go into this big area in the sewers and there's actually two bricks protruding from the wall slightly. If you select both of those bricks and click on them, then they open up the secret entrance way. You can now run over to it and just walk through it normally in the normal camera view. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're playing through the game and you want to unlock it legit without using the out of bounds camera mode, this is how you do it. Now while I did include it in my let's play, I want to show you how to get the other secret tape as well because this will unlock all the other cheats in the demo. So basically after you've used the bolt cutters on this door to get to the elevator at the end, take a right instead and it's in plain sight, it's not really well hidden, it's on this shelf here, I think you're meant to be able to find this one quite easily. So picking up this tape unlocks a wealth of cheats. We get new modes, which are, of course, the speedrun mode, the camera mode, we get the infinite roller dexter, and we get the veteran difficulty, as well as the long arms cheat. We're going to be using all of these in our speedrun attempt at the end of the video. Okay, so the next secret is in each of the boat areas. These little areas where you can board the boat and fast travel around the level, they hold a kind of quite a creepy secret. If you go out of bounds and then turn around in this area, for example, you'll see there's a giant puppet. This is the Ricky Puppet, and lots of people have been telling me that this is voiced by the YouTuber Arlo, who plays a puppet on his channel. I don't watch a lot of Arlo, so I didn't actually know that, but that's really cool if that is the case. 
But this is the Ricky puppet. He is one of like the funniest parts of this game. And as you can see, he's actually like looking over the wall if we go out of bounds, looking onto the boat section. Now I'm going to show you successive areas with the boat. Each of them contains one of these puppets, like a giant version of them. Okay, so in this area, clip through the wall once again. And we have a giant version of this puppet. Now, I don't actually know the name of this puppet or the other female puppets. You can see this one is absolutely massive though. Like, it would take you ages to pan all the way around this character because it's just so big. And again, there doesn't seem to be any secrets hidden within this character that I've noticed. I've looked everywhere I can think of and I just can't find any more secrets. So, yeah, like, this is just kind of cool, but again... Nothing more to it than it being a creepy thing to find out of bounds, really. So here is the next boat area. And this one, if we pan out, we get a giant version of Norman, as you can see, which is really freaky. He's just kind of looking over the top going, hey, I'm Norman. That was a really bad impression of Norman, but there we go. This is the Norman puppet, the giant version of him. Nothing much more to say about him other than we can get like super close into his character model. Have a really good look. Get right into his crazy eyes. And we can even go inside his head. You can see there. Just clip right through him. That's Norman. There's one more puppet we're going to take a look at. So we need to head back out. I think this is my favourite one. She's like really eccentric. Let me just zoom right out so we can really see her. And there we go guys. You can see her now. She's huge. Literally like looking over the dock. And again, I don't think there's any secrets hidden on her person. It's going to be interesting finding out the backstories of these puppets and like a bit more about them. Also, when I do the story video on this demo, guys, and we sort of dig into the lore and make some theories, there's actually a lot of dialogue, a lot of incidental dialogue from the puppets that gives us clues about where the story is heading and what happened to them. So we're going to be looking at some of that in that video. But for now, let's head back in and look for some more secrets. So in this room here, guys, which is the next room we're looking at, we actually have a really weird secret. You head outside and you can see there's a door with what I think might be one of the development team on the front of it. I'm not sure if this is like the game director. Or like there's two people working on the game. They're two brothers, I think, John and Evan. I don't know if it's one of those guys or if maybe it's somebody else, but it's pretty crazy. And then over here, there's actually like a little key. Now it's just floating randomly. And if we click on it, doesn't actually do anything. So this key is very strange because essentially it doesn't seem to have a purpose, but it must do something right. So if anybody knows what this key does, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, it just seems to be like a floating key. Doesn't have any kind of purpose. And over there in the distance is like an object, but we can't seem to get out to that. Now, um, when I was talking to Fusion last night, he actually said he tried to get out for about 10 minutes to that icon and it just didn't work, so he gave up. So this might be a secret that we can't actually access at all, or maybe this is a secret we just haven't figured out yet. And uh, with that said, let's continue looking for some other secrets. We're now going to take a close look at Ray. So this is the Ray puppet. He's like the janitor, and he looks like some kind of giant frog or lizard or something. If we actually pan out of bounds, we can see his body, and it is really freaky. It kind of looks like some kind of giant caterpillar. As you can see, there's like loads of different legs on it, and this like really creepy long body. But that is actually Ray's body as it looks when he's like hiding. At some point we might have to fight this guy and he's going to be running about on this like caterpillar like body or more like a centipede in fact, isn't it? It's like super weird, whatever it is. So yeah, I think we're going to run into this guy when the full game comes out. We're probably going to have to fight him and yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty weird. You'll also see in the demo, guys, there's these secret doors. Now, I don't know if we can actually access them in the demo. Doesn't seem like we can. These are probably for, like, the full game, I think. But we can actually go through them, and it just shows that there's, like, this little out-of-bounds area behind the door. This is where the game would normally load. But I think when the full game comes out, we'll be able to access these special doors, and they'll hold, like, new secrets, probably, like, story stuff. So just in case you guys were wondering about these doors, we can't seem to like access them. And the same goes for like the breaker box. There's two sides to the breaker box, a left door and a right door. We can only unlock the right door in the demo, it seems. If anyone finds out anything more to do with that, obviously let me know. But it seems so far we can't actually unlock any of these doors. 
The next area is this area where we first meet Ray. Now, this area looks pretty normal on the surface, but you can actually pan outside and it's actually daytime when we do so. This is the only like daytime lit area in the entire game and I don't know why it's like that. It doesn't seem like there's anything else hidden here though. Although if we do pan down, there are these two doors just here and we can actually go through these. But as you see, they don't actually lead anywhere, they just take us back to the main hallway. So that could be updated in a future patch, for now that door doesn't actually do anything at all. But with that said guys, I'm actually going to show you the speedrun mode now. We're going to put it on the hardest difficulty, enable all the cheats. So I'll see you back at the menu and we'll do a quick speedrun to cap off this video. Okay, so we're going to disable camera mode obviously, we're going to put on speedrun mode. And we're actually going to also put on all of the cheats, so long arms, unlimited Rolodex ammo, unlimited novelist ammo. We're going to get all of that stuff, we're going to go back, we're going to do a new game, and we're going to do a speed run. So, veteran difficulty, it's the hardest one that um, we can access at the moment. This is known as the dev difficulty, so obviously it's going to be pretty tricky, but with these cheats it's probably going to be a lot easier. So let's dive in and get going. Welcome to the neighborhood. Right, here we go guys, back up that way. our speed run begins, so I'm just going to go super fast through this, yeah you can shoot Ricky at the start by the way, and what you'll notice with this speed run guys is I've got the long arms mode on, so I'm actually able to go through doors from like a really far distance away, this is actually going to make it really really easy just to zip about super fast, and I do know mostly what I'm doing through this demo, as I have played it a few times now, so this should be quite a rapid speed run. But as you can see, with all the modifiers on, we've got unlimited ammo, which is why it says zero ammunition, because we can just shoot as much as we want. So we're going to go over here, we're going to shoot her. Blam. We don't even need to worry about tying them up in this mode. Of course, we have got it on veteran difficulty, so this will be a challenge, even with the unlimited ammo, potentially. But we'll see how we go. I'm just going to go shooting through the level and with all the cheats we've got, it shouldn't be too hard. I actually had a go on the speedrun yesterday and I got like eight and a half minutes on normal, so I am wondering what we can get on veteran now when we're zipping through it. Like, I'm going to try and get sub six minutes. We'll have to see. Man, this is so quick. Jeez, that gave me a scare. I love his voice acting, it's great. Alright, we've got this puppet here now. <laughs> we just dodged him. Man, he explodes without being shot in veteran mode. That's nuts. Go, 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 go. Alright, now for the puzzle. Now for the puzzle. So, we need to put in first the fuse box, there we go, and now we need to put on that, that and that, it should give us our first one which is going to be a 7, there we go, now we need to do square, square and a triangle, and this should give us 3, and we need a 10 next, so 10 would be Square, square circle. I think I can't remember like what they uh, what they equate to. I think that's right. That's actually slowed our speed run down a tad, but it's fine. Right, come on, quicker, quicker, quicker. Valuable time we're losing here. And there we go. We're shooting through it. Nice. Wow. Wonder how deep this goes. I don't know if much changes on veteran difficulty. And um, that's one of the things I'm wondering if like much actually changes and I don't know if this mode actually unlocks anything for us like I don't know if by like going through this mode we can get another secret from it especially playing it on veteran we'll have to wait and see there but it's certainly a fun mode you know just zipping through this demo as quick as we can little wrap there all right so can't access that yet we need that and that we need to go and get all of the different power cores to put into that breaker box for different fuses. So we're going to go to the first lockbox, open it, and get that. 
Now we need to head all the way back down again. Second lockbox, I think, is in this main room. Boom. <laughs> shoot him. Sorry about that, Ray, but we had to shoot you there. Get you out of the way. Okay, here's another breaker box. Open that. Click. Out of room. And are we going to spawn next to a puppet? Kind of. But it's fine. Out the door. I love the long arms mode. You just like reach for the door from a mile away. It's brilliant. Now I'm going to head back up, guys. We are at four minutes at the moment. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this in um, six minutes, but we'll see. We're not too far from the end, to be honest. Right, through the door. Through there. I think she's called Junebug, she just said. I'm not sure though. Right, here we go. Open, grab, through the door. Nice. Now we just need to shoot her again, go through this door. Man, we're going through, we're actually cutting through this demo like it's nothing. Through the door here. We've got Ray over there, so I'm not going to go near him. I'm going to shoot those guys through the door. One last lockbox, guys, which should be in this room here. Let's head on through. And here it is. Nice. Now I'm going to go through here. Now I'm going to have to shoot some puppets here. Sorry, Norman. Sorry, not sorry. Aw, oh, he looks sad. Alright, we're not going to do this in under six minutes, guys, but... but... We still could do it in under seven, I think. If we're very, very fast. Just need to get back to that breaker box as soon as we can. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's do this. So, I think the first one needs to be that, then... That, that, that. Yay, we did it. I remembered. I thought I wasn't going to remember that correctly, then I got kind of worried. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. <laughs> Through we go. I think we could do this in under seven, you know. Maybe. It's going to be very, very close. Come on, faster, faster, faster. And through the door. <laughs> that long arms mode is mad. Boom. Snip. Okay, through the door. Up the stairs. We got like about 15 seconds. And 6.51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, we did it in under 7 minutes, no way. We got an S rank, 6 minutes, 59, veteran, boom. Any other YouTuber want to beat that? <laughs> I mean, this is my second speedrun attempt, because I'm not like super into speedrunning, but yeah, if any other YouTubers want to like try and beat this, any of my friends or something, just go for it, let me know, say, I beat you super horror bro. But there we go, that is 6.59, I'm happy with it, for me that's good. And that is on the hardest difficulty. Let's see if we've unlocked anything by doing that. Doesn't look like it. So for now, guys, I think that's like all the secrets and like the cheats and stuff in the game. My Friendly Neighborhood. You can download the demo now. It's on Steam. I really love this game. And it's one of the horror games I'm most looking forward to now this year. I can't wait for the final release. So do support the developer and obviously go wishlist it. But with that said, we've come to the end of today's video. Now I will be doing a follow-up video to this where I look into the story side of this demo, some possible theories as to where the story might be going, looking into the lore and the puppets and all that kind of stuff. But I'm definitely excited to start exploring where the story might be going when the full version of this game comes out. With that said, if you have enjoyed today's video, remember to leave me a comment down below, hit the like button, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you on the next one.